Well, Marlon, absolutely delighted to be sat here with you after signing a new contract. How does it feel securing your future? Yeah, obviously really, really happy. Um, yeah, it's obviously taking a little bit longer, but uh, the deal was right for, for both me and, and the football club. And yeah, just obviously off the back of last season to um, really looking forward to, to getting started again in the championship with this football club. So yeah, really, really pleased and um, yeah, looking forward to getting started now in pre-season. Just want you to watch this video for me. Say yeah. that. I mean, I watched this a few times myself. Get some noise on the lot. Yeah, you can get some noise on Honestly. I'd love to just relive that moment again. It's, um, yeah, I mean, I've looked at over so many images and videos over that, that period and um, even watched match, match highlights from the away games because it was an incredible season. I think one that we all wished and hoped for, but to actually go and do it the way we've done it is, um, yeah, it's ex exceeded all my expectations and more. Has it fully sunk in yet? It's, it's one of the, it has, but it, I don't think it ever will. It generally won't, and I don't want to get too cheesy and corny, but I, when I said it's a dream come true, it, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So it's like, so when you actually go and do that, will it ever sink in? No, but I think when, you, when you're, you're unable to, to re-look re at videos and, and obviously just conversations when you're speaking to people, we, you don't really, I didn't realise how much of an impact it made on other people's lives, um, which I should have done because you know, I've been a Portsmouth fan and I, I've been through the highs and lows of supporting this football club, but when you're getting messages saying, oh, you've given me and my son the best kind of season of our life supporting P Portsmouth, I think that's when you start to digest it really a lot more and take stock of the achievement that we made as a, as a football club and a, and a group of players and staff. If you had to pick some words to describe last season, what would they be and why? <sighs> some words. Um, they have to be PG, won't they? Um, there was uh, togetherness. So uh, I think we've spoke about this numerous times, probably back in uh, Marbella in the pre-season. I had a real slight sense of it then, but I think, and listen, winning games of football helps that, but a togetherness through, obviously, first and foremost, us as a, as a group of players, but then the extension of that as, as a staff, the alignment of that and then also with, with the fans as well I think they see early on from what we were trying to achieve um, and like I said winning games of football helps us all buy into it but I think as the season progressed we realised that we all needed each other to, to deliver what we end up um, achieving um, I, I think I'd run out of real words to describe it but yeah it would have been a dream come true amazing all these words that I've already spoke about so um, but I think, in, if I was going to describe it in one word, I think togetherness would sum it up quite nicely. How were the celebrations? Uh, yeah, they seem a long time ago now. I think we've just fully recovered from them. And, and rightly so. These, these opportunities, these moments um, don't come around a lot in football. Um, I've played, you know, I'm, I'm 33. I made my debut at 18. so. I've had 15 years of playing professional football and this is not only my second promotion so um, some lads it might be their first hopefully it's many more for some of the lads and you could go through a whole career of not having any so I think it's important to to enjoy it and celebrate it because we live uh, quite a sheltered life in regards to that throughout the season with, with being professionals but when there's an opportunity to celebrate as everyone's seen we definitely can do that well as a team as well. It must have been really difficult to see some of the lads go as well. Yeah, it was, and unfortunately, that is that is the nature of the beast. And um, we've obviously lost some really good lads as people and human beings at first, but I think also some lads that really contributed on the pitch for us throughout my time at the football club. So, um, yeah, that sometimes when you want to evolve, uh, evolve and, and and get better, you have to make some really hard calls. Um, and it's really pleasing to see a lot of those boys already um, be signed up to new clubs and they'll be um, 
those clubs are really lucky to have them. So yeah, for the dressing room, it, it's, a, it's obviously always a sad day because you, you want to kind of keep that uh, continuity of what you have. But I think also you, you do have to realise that there's some harsh decisions that need to be, to, to be made to, to progress forward. Would you say South Sea Common and the Vegas trip was almost like the perfect sort of fairy tale ending? Yeah, um, I think that South Sea Common trip was the one that I just think when I signed, I, I, that was the vision I had in my head just because of growing up as a kid and the seeing the celebrations there. Um, and that stuck out more for me than like ever kind of visualising lifting a trophy or something like that. It was more like a celebration on South Sea Common. So, so I think that for me, it obviously held a lot of weight being a kid and, and, and seeing that and being behind those barriers as I spoke about before. And then, yeah, for Vegas with a group, like I said, to celebrate properly, to enjoy it as, as a team, because um, we all deserved it. We all put in so much, um, like I said, through, through that first day of pre-season last year, um, the commitment from the group um, to, and to be able to celebrate properly um, and, and enjoy that moment with a fantastic group of lads was, um, was ones that we'll continue to talk about and um, for the, probably the rest of our lives I've, I've come back and you know all the lads are still talking about Vegas now so it, it was a really good trip. A phrase you said earlier in this interview was this football club in the championship you're the captain you led us there now you're taking us back and leading us into the championship how does that feel? Yeah it feels great I think for obviously first and foremost for our for the club to be away from the championship for, for so long is is obviously um, a bit of a travesty but that's how football is sometimes there's no given right to I think I think we can um, prove how tough the league one is and it is to get out of and for us to do that last season was a hell of achievement and just the championship I, I, I've played a lot of my football there so I, I love that division um, I love watching the games the games are shown obviously last year especially a lot of games on Friday nights when you're away at the hotel so a lot of times I'll pick a championship game over an, another game maybe a Premier League game just because um, I can relate to it a lot more so and you just look at the teams in the division obviously we're all waiting for the the fixtures to be released this week and um, when you go to whoever you go to away on the first game of the season and it's like well oh they're, they're good and then the next game you've got someone at home with that stature of those teams that for the majority of them have had Premier League pedigree. It's, uh, it's a fantastic division to be in and um, one that we're all looking forward to as a group and I'm sure the fans are as well. What are you expecting from the challenge? Listen, it's going to be tough. I don't think uh, we're under no illusions of that. I think we have to embrace it because we all want to be championship footballers. The club want to be at a minimum a championship uh, club. So we have to embrace the challenge. We have to realise that um, it's also going to be tough and we're not going to get everything our own way. But I think that's that's the beauty of football. Um, you've got a fantastic away game, some really top teams coming to Fratton Park and um, yeah, it's one we're really looking forward to. Um, there's obviously games where we might have to change the style of play a little bit but I think that's only going to be minimal because from what the gaffer has done since the first days walking through the building has been consistent in how he wants his team to set up, um, play on the front foot and playing that aggressive football. So. Yeah, I, I'm really intrigued by us in the championship and it's a really exciting challenge. How much drive and energy do you now have for pre-season and, and the start of the season now you've got this all out of the way? Well, I said obviously this was the reason I came back was to get the club back to the championship and help us, us gain that uh, promotion and win the league and that doesn't mean obviously the job's done now because this is another obstacle for us, it's another challenge for us and it's that next hurdle for us to obviously maintain ourselves and as a championship football club. Um, so I think it's kind of the same as last year in regards to everything that we've done off the pitch from you know the staff and the players setting that cultural environment but it's also wanting to be better. Um, listen, I will continue to talk about last season because it would have been the greatest season of my career but it will come to a point where that's done now and we've got to look forward to, to the challenge of the championship and that's going to be tough and just because you've won League One it doesn't give you a, a divine right to go and win games in the championship so we know we need to be better as a group, we need to brush up, up on some stuff that we didn't do so well last year because uh, the margins are a lot finer in the championship and you won't get away with maybe some of the stuff that we got away with in League One so um, and that's just football, the, the higher you go um, 
the more clinical teams are, the, the better the players are. And so we have to brush up on a few things as a group on and off the field. And um, I, for no doubt, will know we'll be in a good position come the first day of the season. How much are you looking forward to getting back in into this place, uh, refurbished training ground on Thursday with the lads that you, you must have missed over the off season? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, a, a real sign of progress from the football club to, to where we're at now from when I first signed for the football club in such a short period. Um, and that's, I think that's, that's great for the boys that have been here for a while to see, but then also for the new signings, it's, it's showcasing something that I'd imagine now the club are very proud of. Obviously, by no means finished, but it's, it's those building blocks and the step in the right direction. So um, this is great. We obviously, we able to use this to our advantage. I think going into games where it will give us a better preparation. Um, and also, I think it's also an opportunity or a way of kind of taking any excuses away from us as players because we all moan and we will continue to moan because that's what we are as footballers. But when you've got the facilities and infrastructure in place that we have done, it, it kind of minimises those opportunities to moan. And just finally, what are your aims and ambitions for next season? Um, yeah, I think I just touched on then. I think first and foremost, it's for us as a group to continue where we left off um, uh, with that togetherness. I think that was key throughout numerous stages last season. Um, obviously, on an individual level, it's to you know stay fit, um, play as many games as I can in the championship, and help the team. Um, and then from the team perspective, I'd imagine it's you know without speaking to anyone, it's for us to be competitive in in this division. Um, you know, I don't know what that looks like, but it's to, to give us to give it a right go. Um, like I said, to be competitive um, and and challenge. Make sure that every game that you know we're fully prepared for the challenge that that's ahead. And um, like I said, at times we're going to find obstacles. Uh, last season there wasn't too many, so it's also important for us as a group to to bounce back from those obstacles. And um, because we're used to winning games week in week out, and this is not me with having a negative mindset. This is just the reality of football and going up a level so um, yeah it's making sure that like I said this, this group will be ready everyone will buy into what we're trying to do as a football club in an environment and um, I think more importantly keep enjoying it keep enjoying it keep you know turning up every day with smiles on our faces be prepared to work and then also make sure we have the fun when we need it to be. Just going to add one more on what's yeah. your message to the supporters because you're really going to need them this season as, as much and if not more than you did last time. Yeah, well, I, I think they're fully aware of the challenge ahead in the championship and uh, I think they're all looking forward to it. Of course they are, as much as we are as a player, so just the same as last year. Same as you have been doing, supporting this football club for as many years as you have done. So um, I know they're, they're going to be obviously turning up in Fratton Park in the numbers and it's great with all the work going on there that we haven't touched on. Um, you know, that's going to make it, obviously with the upgrades, but also keeping that feel and atmosphere that you can't, can't beat in English football. And it's also to enjoy those away games. We had some, so many fantastic away games last season. Um, and obviously you go into now bigger clubs, bigger stadiums. So to see that kind of sea of blue in away games is going to be amazing. So yeah, obviously stick with us, support us, drive us on, be that 12th man that you have done last year and um, uh, help us win games of football.